Welcome to Mastery of Writing the Personal Narrative. Lesson 9, Video 1. In this lecture, we're going to talk about using technology to create a visual presentation of your personal narrative. And as you watch this video, you want to look for how a writer can use PowerPoint to create an engaging presentation. Make sure that you take good notes. And, as with every video, at the end, you will be asked to submit a question for inquiry. By the end of this lecture, you will know some of PowerPoint's features. You will also learn how to apply these features to a presentation of your personal narrative. Once you watch this lecture, you will be ready to create a PowerPoint presentation of your personal narrative. There are several ways your instructor might help you but you must watch this lecture and watch it again if you need to. You must have an understanding of the basic features of PowerPoint. After the initial inquiry session, you'll be working with PowerPoint to create your presentation. You don't want to spend the whole class period staring at an empty PowerPoint shell. Watch this video and watch it again if you don't understand everything the first time you see it. Are you ready? Creating a PowerPoint presentation can be a lot of fun once you learn the basics. You need to know, however, that you are not going to cover all the features that PowerPoint has to offer. That would be impossible. Here are three ways to learn. By seeing, by hearing, and by doing. One way to learn often becomes more important than the other two. And this is the case when you learn how to use PowerPoint. The best way to learn how to use PowerPoint is by using PowerPoint. Let's bring up PowerPoint. I'm going to show you a basic approach to designing a presentation on PowerPoint. First of all, notice that there's a column that has two tabs, Slides and Outlines. It's on the left-hand side of your screen. You should have a slide labeled 1. The main screen has a rectangle that reads Click to Add Title, and another one that reads Click to Add Subtitle. You can use one or both of these. I'm going to use one, my title. I go to the top of it right up there in the middle. There's a little green dot. I click the left side of my mouse and select Cut. Now I'm going to bring up a new slide. Click through the Home tab up in the right-hand corner where the column of slides are, and you'll see the icon for New Slide. Click through, and you get a new slide. I'm going to set up four slides. Now I'm going to put my personal narrative into PowerPoint. And there are many ways that you can do this. If this is the first time you've ever used PowerPoint, I'd cut and paste your essay slide by slide into PowerPoint. If you're not sure what cut and paste means, your instructor will help you out. I'm going to show you my favorite way to enter the text of a story. It's not the only way to do it. You might need to just explore PowerPoint a little bit to find out what your favorite is. I don't use the title box or the box that reads click to add text. I cut them out. Then I go to the insert tab and I look over to word art. There are choices to make here too. It's set to a large font, so make sure you shrink it unless you want it that big. Go back to the Home tab, over to Font, and change the size. Let's go with a 32 font. You might want to change the Justify tab too. Right now it's set to look like a poem. I'm going to change that to Left Justify. And then I type. When I was 17, and then I move on to my next slide. You don't want to put too much on one slide. Less is best. Second slide. It was a very good year. So for the next slide, and I can cut and paste also. So let's grab the text from another slide and change it up a little bit. When I was 71, and now the last slide, that's the one that will cut out the two boxes here and then cut 
and paste from another slide. Then we'll change up the wording and move the text box a little bit. Next, I need to choose a design. At the top of the page, you see the Design tab. Click through, and you'll get a row of choices. This is how each of your slides will look. And notice when I move my cursor over a design, my slides assume that design. So if you want to change the look of your presentation later, just bring up these designs, make your choice, and PowerPoint does the rest of the work for you. All of your slides will change to your new design choice. There are many additional changes you can make to the slides. You can change the colors, frame a text box. There's just a lot. Too much to explain here. Do some exploring and ask your instructor if you can't find the feature that you're looking for. Right now, I want to show you how to set up and watch your presentation. At the top, there's a tab that says Slideshow. Click through and you'll have several choices. We want the one to the far left from the beginning. Click through and you'll see what your presentation looks like. When it comes up, click Enter on your keyboard to advance the slides. And when it's over, you just click the Escape button. It's at the upper left corner of your keyboard. So that's a basic PowerPoint presentation. For your essay project, you want the whole thing, every word of it, on PowerPoint slides. It doesn't matter how many slides you use. It's okay to have one word on a slide if it's an important word, but you must have your whole essay on PowerPoint slides. When you show your story to your classmates, make sure you advance it slow enough so that everybody can read it. Your job is to press the Enter key on the keyboard to advance the slides. Do not read your story. Let the audience read your story. That's it. Your entire essay must appear on your slides. As I said, it doesn't matter how many slides you use. What is important is that every word of your story is on the screen so your audience can read it. There is much more to PowerPoint than I showed you here in this lecture. Your instructor will help you get started, but some of the work will have to be an exploration of possibilities on your part. And if you don't know a lot about PowerPoint, I'd stick to the basics. There you have it. A look at just a few of the possible ways PowerPoint can help you build a great presentation. There is much more to PowerPoint than I showed you in this lecture. Your instructor will help you get started, but some of your work will be an exploration of possibilities. If you don't know a lot about PowerPoint, I would stick to the basics. And remember, work hard and have fun.